so did my world come to an end. And for three long years, I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him. And be my brother's vengeance. Where is he? First, there will be a test. It will decide if you are worth teaching. Good to know! Battle tutorial, and hello everyone, and welcome back to Tales of Berseria. I am Wishblade, and we're gonna learn about quick-stepping. Hold down the guard button, and use the left stick. Burning wing. Oh, well, that's one quick-step. But what we actually want to do is wait for the opportune moment. Oh, that starts too soon. Okay. Damn it, I'm too, I'm too fast on this. Okay. There we go. And if you do that, then, well, first and foremost, quick stepping expends a small amount of SD and goes into your combos, kind of something more detailed later on. Probably going to mention it at some point. But if you perform a quick step just before an enemy attacks, It'll do one damage only, recover some SD, and a soul may also appear like it did right there. So let's pick it up. If you are not, I will kill you. Ready yourself. But I don't wanna. I'm gonna run away from you. All right, Ceres, the wonderful big boo to Malik of Artorius, apparently, who's resistant to air. Let's kick her ass. Let's so. <laughs> Nothing so stand in our way in our vengeance. See, you are just terrible, my dear. Oh, no other soul. No soul this time around, so we'll just got the half tap. Oh. Damn you, Cerus. Also, you do absolutely no damage. Maybe I'm a bit too powerful. Also, that's a spell, or Malak Art, as it is also known as. Die! Okay, not die. Now! Why are you holding back? You noticed. Well done. You pass. Of course. His Moloch would never be so weak as that. I am his Moloch no longer. <sighs> First, let me tell you what has transpired these past three years. There are exorcists now throughout the land, challenging the reign of demons with the help of... Tell me. Tell me where Artorius is. You may find him in the capital city of Logris in Midgand. You won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. A host of Malachim descended, and with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. A shield to guard the people, and a sword against demons, 
Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior. With power stolen by sacrificing Lafayette. Indeed. But his power is not yet absolute. The man can still be killed. Why are you doing this? Make a successful escape from this place, and I'll explain. Escape? So that's your game. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorius. That's all. I have shattered your yoke. We must hurry. More level ups, how wonderful. Hey, Twin Whip Mega Sonic Thrust. Even more awesome. And Prodigy's Glass Sight. These are something you could have brought along in the New Game Plus with Great Shot, but I chose not to because I'd rather just get them as we go. Now this one provides the ability for equipment to trigger a random skill that improves the six basic statistics. What are those? Attack, Art Attack, Defense, Art Defense, and Focus. And... The 6, so I'm guessing the 6 is probably HP. Attack is improvements of martial and hidden arts. There's a difference, obviously, with certain things here and there. Art attack, hidden arts and malig arts, the spells, like the one Ceres was casting. Defense, kind of the same as attack, but obviously with defensive stuff. Art defense, art attack, duh. And focus affects your ST regeneration rate, awesome and your chance to inflict status effects like stunning, so that's very nice. Also, Velvet's battle abilities. Her martial arts, as you might have noticed, are a bunch of kicking and such. And her hidden arts, vicious stabbing attacks. <laughs> yes, I like her. She's awesome. Welcome to Titania, the island prison, where well, we can go around exploring if we want to. Now, you can go around and get stuff like the tarnished silver coin and other things here and there, explore all these cells if you want to, but I'm not going to be doing that too much. I'm just going to try to focus on the actual objective or treasure chests and such that are lurking around the area. You will need equipment. There are weapons in the room ahead. Well, that's good to know. But what is also good to know is what the hell happened in the last episode. Apparently, Arthur, or Artorius, as he is apparently more properly named, sacrificed our brother to apparently gain power or something, and then he created some kind of religious cult. Maybe not a cult, but some kind of religious something, and now he basically took over the world. Because religion is evil, it's bad, it's corrupt, and it's just gonna try to mess with your heads. God damn it. No one raised the alarm. I can see that. Take what you need from here. I will do just that, and also, in the next cutscene, I'm gonna show a little something, because if for some reason you just wanna skip all these cutscenes, you've already seen them, or you don't care for some reason, then you can hold down the right bumper. Right now it just shows the objective, but if you do it in the cutscene, it's gonna show you a press the A button to skip. So I'll just show that ever so slightly in the next cutscene as we open the chest. It looks like they kept prisoner's effects in here. Rope. This will be useful. Quite a blade. I know that sword. Stormhowl! What is it doing here? Well, it's too big for me. You're not taking it? It's a celebrated masterpiece! And if I can't use it, it's worthless. All right. Are you ready then? What's going on here? Oh, nothing, Mr. Exorcist Guard, sir. A longsword orderly 
Let's kick his ass! He's no ordinary soldier. He's an exorcist orderly. Well, I don't care. He's gonna die anyway. You didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals. And that there are scores of demons locked away here. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Got it. The back docks. We have ourselves a destination. Oh yeah, also, Velvet turned into some kind of demon thing that can make her left arm transform, and then she eats other demons with that arm. So that's a thing. That's very interesting. Alrighty then. The power of... Well... The very abnormally, potentially chested Malak. We shall save the day. Save boy time! What the hell is this floating thing? I don't know. What is this thing? That's a special mass of mana. Think of them as the souls belonging to a family of Malakim. They appeared all over after the advent three years ago. Another after effect of the advent. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to solicit the cooperation of a Malak family. And I'm supposed to take your word for it. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Whether you collect them or not is up to you. I might as well pick them up. I'll use every tool at my disposal. Indeed. You'll have to if you want your revenge. <laughs> well, alrighty then. This is a cat spirit. And you can already see I have some of them already because I used the great shop for that. These are used mostly for cosmetic items. And one side quest. There's one side quest item you need them for. Otherwise, just cosmetic stuff and a certain something in very, very, very late game, like the very end, where it can make things a little easier, but, nah, I don't see why it should be too bad for me to have some already, and it just makes things a little more convenient. Guards coming. Two of them. This way. Did you hear? The path around the island is off limits now. They say the ground's weak and could collapse. The path that goes under the watchtower? That's all right. Nobody uses it anyway. True, but it was a nice shortcut to the docks. A shortcut to the docks under the watchtower. A number of guards have gone missing. It would seem we have intruders on the island. All exorcists, break into two groups and converge at the front and rear gates. Understood. No one will get past us. Stay sharp. The threat could be serious. Yes, yes sir. sir. This isn't going to be easy. Then we'll need reinforcements of our own. Where are the cells? They should be on this floor. You plan on involving the other prisoners? I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. Well, thank you for the info, dear guards. So, how about we go and have a... pay these prison cells over here a little visit? Maybe we can have some help from the others. Because who knows, maybe they want to escape too. Maybe they'll help us escape. Yeah, never know. Who in the blazes are you? Greetings, everyone. I am Velvet. That is Ceres, and I am also the Wishblade. You can use the right bumper to see information on the current target, and you can switch between them by holding it down. There you go. You can see some information, and it's going to tell you about this in a moment. But if you press the B button, you can see all this lovely information about them. 
if you go and yeah, use the D-pad to go between these pages, you can see there are arts and some basic information, right and left bumper, to go through some categories, if there are some beasts, some dragons, whatever, in the fight. But yeah, because there's no magic lenses anymore, so yeah, you can just see the information, and then with the left control stick, you can switch between them, if for some reason you wanna have a look at the other guy, or someone else in particular, because they're being annoying. Maybe they're casting some spells on you. You never know. But first, yeah, people gonna die. So weak. I'll cut down anyone in my way. That sounds like an awesome plan. There we go. Now it tells you about the B button thingy something something. Serious? Split into two groups and rush the front and rear gates. Break through the gates and you'll have a ship. But aren't they guarded by exorcists? I mean, that pirate Von Eifried's the only one who's ever broken out of here. And he didn't pull it off just by himself. He was hauled out by some old exorcist named Melchior or something. Von Eifried and Melchior. I won't force you! You want to rot in here, then rot! I'm with you. Anything's better than another day in this rat Let's hole. do it. I'm going home to my family. Me too! Yeah. Let me out, Rogues girl! Rogues like us are always I'm up for I'm sick a of the slop they feed us. Ceres. We'll murder those exorcists! Open all the doors! That ought to draw the attention of the guards. In the meantime, we'll search for that watchtower. From there, we can follow the outer path down to the docks. So you're leaving them all to their fates? I told you, we'll use any tool I need. We got a prison riot and an event up here. Now, about those cat spirits, sure you can go around and just gather them all you want, but you don't really need to. You can just gather the ones you see. It's It should be fine. You're not going to escape? Don't underestimate the exorcists. They're all gonna die like dogs. Or goblins. This abbey that's in charge of this place. They're that amazing. Amazing doesn't even begin to cover it. The exorcists of the abbey joined forces with the kingdom of Midgan. And they've got the whole world in their pocket. They're merciless. They hunt down any human who becomes a demon. Going against them means taking on the whole world. And I bet I know who's at the top. Those who get captured and sent here are the lucky ones. We may be monsters, but at least we have our lives. Sure, until they get fed to me. Thanks for the info. Even if you manage to escape this place, thousands of exorcists controlling powerful Molochim will be out there waiting for you. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. I'm not going to run. I'll gladly die, as long as I take Artorius with me. But I'm not gonna die! I'm gonna kill anyone standing in my way for my quest for vengeance! Now, also, before we leave this little prison cell area, there should also be a chest somewhere over in this direction. I believe it should be hiding in one of these cells right there! Silver chest with battle boots! Let's have a look at them just because. We already have some, but there you go. This one has a random skill because we can now have those. Maximum HP plus 30. How wonderful. Let's have it. Also, these are titles. I have all of those from my great shop visit, obviously. And some of them already leveled up 
somewhat. So, yeah. These affect your stats and abilities in various ways, so... I'm gonna mess around and see which title I want at some other point. Not right now, and then I'll talk about that later. Not right now, but yeah. Right here, titles actually benefit you, not just in some, I don't know, cosmetic fashion or whatever, or tiny stat increases. But you can do that with the Great Shop, but I just chose not to. I don't want it, I just want them around for their normal effects, and now I'm gonna leave, so bye! Dear me, not a word of apology? You people! There I was, sleeping like a sweet babe, when suddenly... From paradise down to hell! No worse, a grimy prison cell! <laughs> you see why I'm not feeling well. And you are? Hooray! You asked! I'm thrilled to introduce to you the wise sorceress who travels the Eleven Seas, who scoffs at the might of dragons! None other than the acclaimed, the illustrious Magi Gigi Gambi Ludin Dodin Do Larun Do! Magi Lu for short. Magi Lu? No, Ma! Like Soggy Shoe or Doggy Do! Or call me any of those things and I'll turn you into a froggy stew! <sighs> I suppose you'll never understand. <laughs> People can be so tragically unlearned. But hey! I like her. I like her a lot. Uh, what the hell? Oh, well, that, well, that was, um, that was interesting. Now we have a skit. Can't believe she snuck up on me. Who is she? This is no ordinary prison. We must be cautious. Trust no one. She said she's a powerful witch. Did she have a Moloch tethered? No, I didn't sense Malachim around her. She's an ordinary human, I think. Then she's an ordinary magician, not a witch. If she tries to trick me again, I'll crush her and be done with it. But why? She was so entertaining! Oh, don't, don't do, don't do anything like that. And now these other doors are open, so how about we have a look inside? In here, we are introduced to herbs! Sage raises your maximum HP by 10. Also fully restores HP, apparently. Herbs can be used to increase character parameters, and they grow in various places around the world. They will grow back in time after you collect them, so use them freely on your favorite characters. Yes, indeed. So, I should also mention this about the cat spirits. Cat spirits will respawn if you leave an area and go back, like an entire area. If we left Titania, the island prison, and then came back, all the cat spirits would be back. The herbs, however, there are 118 herbs around the game. Once there is less than 50 herbs that are actively spawned, so after you collect, what would that be? Um, that would be, as you collect herb number 69, <laughs> I think, is that basic math? Potentially. But when there's only 49 herbs left in the game, one random herb somewhere in the world is gonna respawn. No idea which one, but an herb somewhere. So if you wanna get herbs, just go around to random places at the later parts of the game, and then you'll find them here and there and everywhere. So now you know. And then I believe we are going to um, this way. Yeah, that way, that's where we came from. Because we are looking for the treasure. Yes, indeed. All right, I believe it's up here. I do have my notes around, so I'm just trying to follow along with them. Oh, hi there, everyone. Why are you not leaving? I do not know. What is in this chest? A life bottle. Removes all status ailment from one ally and restores HP by 40% in battle. Also, brings them back to life. I'm not sure, can you use a life bottle on someone to heal them when they're still alive and everything? 
Maybe. Maybe. Also, I've, I'm fairly certain that's all we have to do here, so off we go. And then to the north so we can progress into the, I don't know, finding that watchtower place. Now, was there something else I needed to say? I can't honestly remember at this moment in time, so... Oh, sparkly. I would definitely pick up the sparkly, just because I like it, the sparkly. I like the shiny. It's so beautiful. I believe there should be a safe point somewhere up here. So, okay. Um, there it is, yep. Alright, save point. And a sparkly. And a treasure chest with... A void ring reduces damage from non-elemental attacks. Sure, let's have a look at that. Why the hell not? A void ring, also random skill. Neat. So, uh, what do I want? What do I want? It also boosts my attack, so sure. Why the hell not? And then, as we find ourselves with a save point and more action probably up ahead, I'm just gonna stand right here and call this an episode because I can. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, see you later.